What's up, everybody? My name is Jordan Miller from Envision Community, and today we're doing our very first live stream, and we're going to be focusing on webhooks, and this is slated towards developers, and essentially anyone who's watching, this is a way that you can make your community even more powerful. So what I'm going to do is just briefly explain to you what webhooks are, why you'd want to use them, and then I'm going to be bringing on one of our really talented developers. His name is Daniel, and he's going to walk us through an example. So essentially, webhooks are a way that you can connect your Envision community platform to other really powerful platforms like Integromat, Zapier, Microsoft Flow, and it creates automations for you so you can have more power and more flexibility um, added to your community with a click of a button. So um, what I'm going to do is actually share my screen with you during this live stream, and I'm going to show you uh, one of our blogs that we recently launched, and it has a really lengthy list of different webhooks that you could use um, to be able to make your community far more powerful and just adds extended functionality. So this is the blog post, and I'm going to be linking to it in the description. Uh, check this out after you're completely done watching this video, and you can kind of get the nitty gritty. But this is what I want to show you right here. It's this list of everything, just you know, a handful <laughs> of examples that you can use. Um, the list goes on and on. So definitely sink your teeth into this after the fact. So one example of a webhook that you can kind of um, wrap your head around is if you created a club in Envision, your Envision community platform, then it can automatically send an email to the club owner with guidelines. So it's things like that that you can be able to automate so you can continue to focus on building your community while the platform does a lot of the work. Uh, and so now I'm going to introduce Daniel. I'm going to bring him on. He's going to help walk us through a step-by-step -step example of creating a webhook. And these webhooks are attached to apps. And you can find these apps in our marketplace um, that's also in the navigation above. So now I'm going to be bringing on Daniel. He's one of our developers. And he's going to walk us through a step-by-step example of creating a webhook. So what's up, Daniel? Hi. So I'm going to show you how I'm using the webhooks to connect my custom application, which I use to manage my releases with Google Sheets. It's quite okay. simple. In our API section, it just creates a new webhook. You need the event, which is, yeah, in my case, release build manager new version. And then you need the address for the webhook. We're going to use the webhooks. Then you just copy the URL. Mm -hmm. And that's literally it. And so when what we're looking event, at right here, this this is the back end, right, of Envision Community. This is the admin yes. control panel. OK. And here you just choose the events which you want to get triggered. And mm -hmm. we have the data sh should be sent. So that's it. And now we're ready to test it. In my case, each time when I create a new version, mm -hmm. it's going now to send this data to Zapier. Oh, OK. So here I have now my application name, the versions. Mm -hmm. And now I can do whatever I want. For example, store them in a sheet or send an email with the data. Oh. And so basically that long list that I showed previously, that's just uh, like, those are all kinds of examples, um, you know, various examples of what you're, what you're currently doing of these webhooks, yeah? Yes. Gotcha. So right now that, these are all the events which we have now, but we're going to enhance the list frequently. OK, awesome. So we're going to be adding more um, as time goes on, continue exactly. updating this. OK, exactly. nice. Um, and if you could just explain to you know, people who are watching, your developers, why, would, why is this so powerful? Like, why would a developer care about this? It's literally opening their application to the web. So for example, that's a very oh. popular app in our marketplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here, the developer could send the submission data to Zapier, to Integromate, to uh -huh. 
uh-huh. whatever the client wants. So to implement Webhugs, the developer would just fire the Webhug wherever he thinks he wants and where yeah. he needs. And it requires two parameters, the event name and the payload. The payload mm-hmm. is a little the data which are then sent to Zapier or to the Webhug receiver. The second, we need to implement the get webhooks method in the application class, which returns mm-hmm. literally a list of the key of the webhook and its payload. It could be mm-hmm. either only a class or an array with additional data. Once <laughs> this is done, it will automatically appear in our list in the ACP. Okay, cool. And then that screen that you were just showing before, those were the documentation. That's the documentation section. And people can find that uh, on our website. Is that right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for explaining that. Super helpful and appreciative. Uh, Thanks for having me here. Yep. And for those watching, thank you for sticking around and uh, checking out all the power of webhooks. Um, There's going to be more information in an accompanying blog post. We'd love to hear from you if you've had any examples that you have created that you want to share or any ideas maybe. um, Drop us a line. We'll get back to you. And thank you so much for watching. Enjoy Envision community. Share your ideas. And with that, we'll see you on the flip side. Thank you. 